I'm Anna and this is my little sidekick Mookie. Today I'm going to review the Nupsy 700 North Face jacket that tons of people have and love. I think it's a great jacket, but honestly I got rid of my old puffer, which was a Michaels Kors. I wore it for like 10 years and I loved it because it was super slimming and it was really comfortable. It was super lightweight. And so like you could wear it when it was cold and then take it off when it got hotter and it would like easily fit in your purse and be super lightweight. So it was just very convenient for coastal California weather. And I think that it's also good for lots of other winters that are not super cold. And I loved this jacket, but then like at, towards the end of last winter, I was like, okay, this brand has been dead for like five years. My coat looks like I've been wearing it for a decade because I have. So the style is a little bit out of date and it honestly just wasn't cool anymore. And it, it had lived its best life. Like the branding was rubbing off, like it looked ratty and done. So I was gonna replace it with another black puffer and I was like okay I like the look of the Nupsy I kind of think that jackets are kind of bigger and puffier and tons of people have this jacket and say that they love it so it must be good and also I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to shopping I do not want to have to go to the store and be there for hours trying every single jacket I would rather just read some online reviews go in like ask the sales associate their opinion and get the whole thing done in like 10 minutes which is exactly what i did and i think that maybe this did not yield the best results because i like this jacket like i think it looks cool but it is not flattering it adds like 20 pounds it is just really thick and bulky and I think that this look really looks best on people that are super skinny. It's also very heavily padded. Like this, I'm honestly getting like super hot just sitting here for like two minutes. So I think that it is made for much colder weather and I don't need so much down. I'm gonna unzip it. I mean, it's comfortable. It, it does feel like an insulating jacket but the heat in it like really builds up and it will keep you super warm. So in a few of the colder mornings, it was very comfortable. Um, the other day it was cold like all day and it was very comfortable. So I think it's great for cold weather, but also I'm a size eight, so I'm not really skinny and I'm not a plus size. And then I'm 5'10". So the thing that really sealed the deal for me with this one is that it's just a little bit so short. Like the way it sits, it's like where the top of my jeans are typically for like a mid rise, which isn't great. And then I wore it to the park and I was playing ball with my dog and I bent over and there's a good four inches of my back that is just like exposed skin when I bend over. And so that's like not practical for cold weather to have a jacket where if you bend down or you raise your arms, you can see your belly. I mean, that's just not a good look. And it's not that, I, I feel like it's super cute. And if you're a regular size or even like, if you're petite, it's gonna fit like a regular jacket. And that is a much better fit. Like there is literally no point in getting a coat that is, a good coat if it doesn't fit you properly and that's exactly where I am with this and I feel like North Face really should make tall sizes because it's not really a good option to get a men's coat so that it's long enough because then it's also way boxier and just not flattering so I like this coat I think it is cool looking I think it is very warm I think it would make a great ski jacket like if I wanted to go skiing, I would love to have this, but I just, I don't go skiing every weekend. So I don't need a $350 uh, coat to go skiing in, if that's the only purpose for it. And then 
um, yeah, I, I, I would get it either to ski and wear every day or as an everyday coat. And as an everyday coat for me, it's a fail because it's too short and they don't make a tall size. And also I think cropped puffer jackets are cute, but I just don't see the trend lasting because it's not practical and it's not practical for me. So I'm really bummed, but I'm gonna have to take it back. And there is no other coat that's kind of on my mind that I wanted or I wanted to check out. So if you guys have any good suggestions for a black puffer jacket that's in the same kind of three to $400 price range, that would be great. I would really appreciate that. But yeah, this is my honest tall, tall girl review. I think it's a great jacket. I think it's cute. I just don't think that it fits well for people who are over like 5'6". I'm 5'10 and I've got like, you know, inches of belly and back skin hanging out, which isn't cute at all. And I don't wanna get the men's size. So um, thumbs down for me, for anyone who's like a tall girl, thumbs up for the overall look if you like a very puffy puffer jacket. But I do think I would like something a little bit slimmer fitting and a little longer. So I was thinking of Patagonia because they also have a little bit more of like an artsy vibe. And I like outdoor brands. Like I have just decided that I don't like designer designer stuff that much anymore because I would rather wear a brand that kind of like indicates that you are outdoorsy because I am. And I think that when you wear certain brands, they are cool, but they also make you look like you're possibly a little bit conceited and self-absorbed because really all they stand for is just that they're expensive. And I don't like that. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you've made it to the very end, do all those cool things that YouTubers always ask you to do, which is like, comment, subscribe, join the family. I will leave my Instagram down below. And um, if we get any new subscribers, I'll give Mookie some treats. <laughs> so if you want to support Mookie's kibble fund, then subscribe and hit the bell notification. Bye everybody.